Luisa Winters and I'd like to take you through keyframing in Premiere Pro CC. This is the fourth of four videos that cover this topic. In this video, I will cover keyframe temporal interpolation. Temporal interpolation refers to changes over time. You could say that spatial interpolation also occurs over time, and you would be correct. The thing is that not every interpolation involves changes over space. Opacity, for example, doesn't cover changes in space, just changes over time. Premiere Pro makes a distinction between these two types of interpolation. The temporal interpolation types are linear and Bezier. Linear creates a uniform rate of change between keyframes. There is no acceleration, no deceleration. The interpolation starts at a certain speed, continues at that same speed, and then it just stops. Bezier. There is a change in the rate of speed. There is acceleration or deceleration or both. Let's take a look at that. As in the previous videos, let's animate a clip so that it moves from left to right. Now let's select the two keyframes, right click them and choose under Temporal Interpolation, Ease In, and then do the same thing again and choose Ease Out. Play your animation and you will see that your clip slightly accelerates at the beginning and then slightly decelerates at the end of the interpolation. Ease in slows down the value changes entering a keyframe. Ease out gradually accelerates the value changes leaving a keyframe. If you want to manually control the acceleration and deceleration of the interpolation, you can do so by expanding the property by clicking in this disclosure triangle and adjusting this line. This is a speed line that will give you a graphical representation to what's happening with the speed of the interpolation of the keyframes. The higher the line, the faster the rate of change. If we adjust these handles here, we can change when the speed increases and when it decreases, making this panel very useful for when we need to time the interpolation. You can see, now that I adjusted the handles, that the interpolation of the clip going left to right is very different than what it was before. This is communicating an entirely different message than before, and yet it is still going from point A to point B in exactly the same time. You can also see that the dots that connect the two keyframes in the program panel are no longer equidistant. You can now see that some are closer together and some are farther apart. Closer together dots means slower speed, and farther apart dots means faster speed. In addition to the dots changing, we can also see that the keyframe itself changed shape. It now looks like an hourglass. This is yet another visual indication that the temporal interpolation is now Bezier. Let's go ahead and right-click the keyframe and see the options that we have under temporal interpolation. Linear. There is no changes in speed. We already saw that. Bezier. There is an acceleration or deceleration or both. With Bezier, you can manually adjust the speed graph, which we already did. Auto Bezier. This is similar to what the spatial interpolation was. It creates a smooth rate of change that Premiere Pro adjusts itself to maintain. Continuous Bezier. Also, a smooth rate of change that we can adjust but both sides of the handles will be adjusted together. Let's try that. Let's adjust the time duration of the interpolation by dragging the second keyframe to the left. Now, 
Let's duplicate these keyframes by selecting the keyframes, pressing and holding the Alt or Option key, and dragging. Let's go ahead and do this a couple of times. Now that we have several keyframes, let's select all of them by clicking on the word Position. Right-click one of the keyframes and choose Continuous Bezier from the Temporal Interpolation section. Now, let's adjust the speed curve. Expand the position parameter so that you can see the speed line and click somewhere on the gray to deselect all the keyframes. Now, select just one of the middle ones. When you adjust one of the handles, the other handle goes up and down as well. If you select all of the keyframes, you can adjust all of the handles at the same time. If the interpolation is Bezier, then we can adjust one of the sides independently from the other. Select all of the keyframes, if they're not already selected, and right-click one of them. Choose Bezier from the Temporal Interpolation menu, and now, when you adjust one side of the keyframe, the other side does not get adjusted. Let's make the right side of the handle be faster than the left and play the sequence. See how different this is from what you had before? There is just one more type of interpolation to cover, and that is hold. Hold changes a property value without gradual transition. In other words, there is no interpolation. The value changes suddenly. Let's try it. Delete all of the keyframes of your clip except the first two and move the second keyframe to the right. Select both keyframes, right-click and choose Hold from the Temporal Interpolation menu. Notice that the keyframes change shape again to indicate that there is no interpolation. Play the video and you'll see that there is a sudden change in value, nothing gradual about it. This is the end of the Motion Effects training section. In the next section, we will cover reusing effects by copy and paste and by saving a preset. See you then.